Hello Aries and welcome to your tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for your patience. So let's dive right in Aries. I'm going to start by picking the general energy. As always, you know, if you want to join me on Patreon for weekly guidance and if you're looking to learn to read tarot for yourself, for others, links are always pinned in the comments. Okay. Let's see what is the general energy for you. Those are just the major cards, by the way. That's why <laughs> it's so, so small. Okay. What is the general energy for the next four to six weeks for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? However you connect with the sign of Aries, you are welcome here. Okay. What do we have here? The wheel of fortune. So something is moving. When the wheel turns, we don't know. We don't know where it's going to lead us. We can only trust that finally things are happening for us. I love it. This is about completion. There's something about good luck also. You creating your luck in a way. I'm sensing that there's a moment where you took action or you said something you took a chance on something, initiated something, I don't know, but it feels like you were the one making the wheel turn. And now it's like, get ready. Ready or not, things are happening, things are moving. Okay, let me pick one of my Oracle cards from the Deck of Sacred Rhythms. Also, the link is pinned in the comments, of course. Let's see. What is this Wheel of Fortune energy for Aries? What do we have here? Daybreak. Look beyond the facade of what seems obvious. Question, consider, and discover. Okay, so you might had a plan. Maybe you were ready for something specific to happen or to show up. But this to me feels like there could be a new option opening up for you. Or whatever plan you had might, it might change. And I think it's going to be for your greater good with the Wheel of Fortune. So let's, let's take the tarot and see what this is about. What is this about? A new day, a new beginning? I don't know. What is this about, Aries? What did you initiate? What are you doing? with this fire, with this fiery energy. The Queen of Wands is here. <laughs> so yeah, you manifested something, Aries. Either you made some type of wish, either you visualized, daydream about something, or clearly asked the universe for someone or something specific. You know, the Queen of Wands is the Witch of the Tarot. There's this power to her that we all have within us. Everyone is intuitive, everyone is magical. But it fits beautifully with you, Aries. This energy of trusting in our own magic and utilizing our fire to create something. That's what I love the most about you guys. You're very intense. Your energy is not for everyone. But when people can take the time and learn to appreciate your power, your intensity, magic really happens. Um, and I don't think you get enough credit for how magical you are, Aries. And the Queen of Wands is just confirming that for me. Knight of Pentacles is here. So this is something that took a long time to happen. You could have given up or you could have just settled for less. And again, a new option is opening for you. And there's movement. This is slow movement, you know, and with the Wheel of Fortune, we have fixed energy. It's like, okay, I need to cultivate something, cultivate some type of passion, some type of talent, nurture it, and be patient. This is where you were for a while. The liminal space, you know, the, the in-between space where nothing really happens. And now things are moving. They might not be moving as fast as you want to, but there's a reason for that. What is the reason? Page of Swords. Yeah, because you're starting new. You're starting fresh. 
And with the Page of Swords, there's the sense of rising above adversity. So this thing that you want, it's all about you. It might make some people a little jealous or a little confused. Like, wow, you're really choosing to do that, Aries? This is really what you want? Are you sure? And there's no question here. It's like your destiny is calling and you're picking up. And you are the hero of this story. The Page of Swords to me is the hero of the tarot. The fact that the sword is too big and he's just handling it, again, rising above adversity. It's like, yeah, people might not get me. They might not understand my why, but it's none of their business. It's my reason. It's my goal, my dream. So this is not about pleasing other people. It's not about doing what other people expect you to do. I think it's the opposite. I'm very curious to know what it's about. Let me know in the comments. What is this? And how are you rising above adversity? I'm getting this very strong message right now for you intuitively, Aries. You don't have to fight anymore. And it feels like you've been fighting for a while. Justice is here. Yeah, you don't need to fight anymore. The scale is recalibrating. And whatever you lost, whatever is meant to find you, will find you tenfold is what I'm sensing with the justice card here. Where you lost, come back more abundant, more powerful. Something has been processing. That's why it was so long. I don't think it's because you weren't ready in the past. I think there's something a little bit more specific than that. It was not about you. I think other people made you wait. There's something here about other people kind of blocking your energy in the recent past. What am I sensing? Temperance is here and the sun is here. No more, you know, no more blockages. Either someone planted a seed of doubt in your mind or literally justice, the law or, you know, paperwork, something that needed to be done carefully Attention to detail is coming up for some reason. I don't know. It feels like finally you're getting at the end of this tunnel, you know? Right now, when I see the temperance card with the sun and my connection with cards always change, you know, as everything changes and evolves in life. But right now, this to me is about the fact that we need to go through this long, dark tunnel to finally see the light at the end, to finally find the sun. And a message I've been getting a lot in the past week, and I don't know why, and I've talked a lot about it on Patreon and the weekly reading, but the light of the tunnel is you. You are that light of the tunnel. There's this sense of feeling accomplished and feeling proud. I made it through. No one held my hand. No one, you know, carried me there. I did the work. I was patient. I did my best. And again, I found a way to rise above adversity. And now it's your time to enjoy. What are you enjoying and what is showing up in Aries' life? I want to know. Three of Cups, something that's destined. This is the invisible family to me. We're talking about your guides, source. Some people say God, energy, whatever. Whatever you believe in, whatever you know is bigger than you, is supporting you and guiding you. This is something that is your birthright. This is very powerful, Aries. The thing, the person, or whatever you're getting to, this end goal, this dream, it was destined. And your guides have been working for you for a very long time. Again, it feels like it was your birthright, some type of destiny. 
And I'm not trying to sound woo-woo, I'm not trying to sugarcoat here. Again, what is meant to find you is finally here. Next four to six weeks. Is there any specific dates that wants to come through? High Priestess and the Chariot. So the moon, working with the moon. If I'm not... Um, I'm not mistaken, there's the fabulous Taurus full moon at the end of the month, which is going to be big. It's gonna, you know, Taurus is very abundant, very connected to values, to beauty, to love. So get in tune with the cycles of the moon, Aries. New moons and full moons, because there's something very important happening around the, the new moon or full moon for you. Because I asked specific dates and two cards connected to you have, you know, the moon here, the crescent. So there's something about that. Very interesting. This to me confirms that there's a cycle that's complete in your life. And I think it's a cycle of waiting, a cycle of being stuck somewhere. And the questions that you keep asking yourself, why? Why am I not settled? Why am I not comfortable? Why am I not where I want to be? Those are all going to be answered really, really soon. So the High Priestess and the Chariot, of course, invites us to focus on our own journey. Keep your eyes on your own paper. And definitely, it's not a time to compare your journey with others. I said it in the beginning, and I think it bears a repeat. Um, you're not for everyone, Aries, and you're not supposed to be for everyone. And that sometimes is a hard pill to swallow, especially when we are younger. Um, I'm 34 now, and I feel like my whole 20s were about getting that external validation. You know, I, I really wanted to please people, and I, I said yes to everything, and most of the time to my detriment. I wanted to be for everyone. And if someone did not like me, it would trigger me in ways that you, I cannot even explain. I don't have that now. I broke up with the need to please everyone and to be for everyone. So your magic, and I'm saying your magic because the Queen of Wands is here. And magic could be everything. Magic to me is this little moment in time that changes everything, that really kind of changes your destiny. Think about a beautiful spider web and how if you just pull one string, everything changes. The pattern of your life, of, of your future, your destiny changes. This is what's happening right now. It's like you're pulling a string and everyone is like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Everything was perfect. Why aren't you grateful with what you have? Why do you want more? Why are you doing this? And it's because you know that you are in control. And again, you're focusing on your own paper. Look, the high priestess is hidden between pillars here. The charioteer is in the chariot kind of protecting himself. And what's happening is that you're ready to step out of this chariot. Ready to step out of this period of your life that does not fit you anymore. Maybe a way of doing things. Again, trying to please everyone. And I know some of you might say in the comments, I stopped trying to please people a very long time ago. Good for you. I love that. Share some of that magic, some of that power with us. Because it's, it's not easy. And I think everyone struggles with that. And sometimes people say, I don't care what other people think. But they are posting selfies and everything they do online on their social media. So you kind of care. That's the thing here. I feel like it's very easy to say, I don't care. I'm doing my thing. I'm focused on me. Self-love. Yeah. Actually practicing that is another thing. It's very easy to say those things. But to put them into practice is another level. And this is what you're doing here. Putting into practice the lessons that you learned throughout your whole life. And your guides are celebrating you. This row here, the Three of Cups, High Priestess, and Chariot is so powerful. 
We're really talking about your intuition, your power, and how it's getting to the next level for some reason. Look at that. The Ace of Cups is here. So this could be a new beginning of anything connected to emotions, to feelings. It doesn't have to be about love, romantic love, but it could be. So a cup is showing up for you. It's like there's this little gift while you are focusing on your own paper, focusing on your own journey, really channeling the high priestess and having the two pillars protecting you. And then there's this lovely ace of cups, this offer of love, this offer of something exciting. Whatever you know in your heart will make your cup overflow. This is time to fill up your cup, my friend. And look at the temperance card in the middle, how the angel here is playing with the cup. This is the alchemist of the tarot. Even if this is clear that spirit and energies are at work for you right now, the universe is working in your favor, this is about you. You are the alchemist. This is not about another person handing you something. It's about you making it happen. And to be the alchemist of our lives, I think we need to take chances and we need to learn to trust ourselves. Of course, trusting in divine timing, but this is about the trust you have in yourself. I don't know how you're getting there. But this is complete trust. And maybe you've been deceived so many times that you had no choice to become that person. To be the person you can rely on always. There was no way you were giving up on your dream. No way you were giving up on yourself. But again, something is taking a very long time to show up. And Spirit is saying, don't give up. Don't give up, Aries. Because whatever you have in mind, there's going to be something even better waiting for you. Again, look beyond the facade of what seems obvious. Oh, it's obvious that this is what I'm going to get. It's obvious that this person is going to treat me this way. That I'm going to do a certain job. That I'm going to have a certain amount of comfort. No. This is your sign to dream big. Bigger. The fool is here and the king of cups. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Dream big. Those two cards to me say the sky is the limit because you are in a space of king energy right now, which is someone who's able to look back and honor their mistakes, celebrate their accomplishment and rising above the BS, the adversity, the gossip. I don't know why I'm hearing gossip. There could have been this moment where it was very easy for you. You could have just, you know, talk shit or gossip behind someone's back, but you did not do it. And maybe this is something that you're practicing right now, being very careful with your words and being careful with how you use your energy. Again, all things that spirit are celebrating for you. And now it's your time to celebrate that. You are rising up to the next level is what I'm sensing, rising up. I don't know why I'm hearing that. And the fool is here. You know, the fool is the soul of the tarot. The fool is everything. It's number zero. So think about number zero and how if you twist it, it becomes an infinity loop. And I think that right now you are in that or you've been in a while in that middle space, you know, of this infinity loop, the liminal space waiting. And now it's time to start a new cycle. I think you're going to receive a lot of information through your dreams because everything I'm saying right now, Aries, it seems like it's connected to a dream. And I don't know why. It's very interesting. I'm seeing so many symbols and 
again, this infinity, this number zero that's twisted. And, you know, I, I did not notice, but there's this twist here. So it feels like you've been stuck here for a while, you know, trying to finally embrace this new cycle, embrace this new you, this improved version of yourself. This is such a mysterious reading, Aries, and I'm very excited to see who connects with it. And don't be shy. If you want to share symbols, if you want to share whatever words or image that came up for you during this reading, I would love to hear because, again, there's something very mysterious um, about this reading. And I know this is about a surprise. This is about something that's going to show up in your life and surprise you. It's going to feel magical. It's going to make you believe in magic is what I'm sensing here. And the Two of Swords is here again. Look, the moon keeps on showing up for you. So the moon is about cycles. The moon wants us to remember you know, that everything comes and go. Everything will pass. So if you're going through a lot right now, it will pass. It's not permanent. If you're experiencing the most beautiful time of your life, same. You have to enjoy it. You have to be present. Because it will pass. Everything comes and go. We cannot just get to a place of happiness and stay there forever. It's a mindset, first of all. With the Two of Swords here, I think it expressed that beautifully. There's something about the High Priestess, because I'm seeing the Two of Swords and High Priestess is number two. This might be a very important card for you. If you use the Tarot in your spiritual practice, I would say take the High Priestess out of your deck for the next week or two. Put it on your altar, put it on your fridge. Put it on your cell phone as a background. Find a pink picture on Pinterest, whatever. But there's something about the high priestess and the pillars that she's standing in between. Try to remember to not compare. This is not a fight, Aries. This is your dance. It's not a fight. It's not a wrestling match. It's a dance. And you are. The person dancing. Again, I keep getting so many symbols here. What is this about, Aries? Two of Swords invites you to be patient. And it also reminds you that you're not supposed to know what's the next step. There is a reason why you don't know exactly what's going to show up in your life. I'm going to take another tarot deck because I... Is there something that Aries need to know right now? Something important? Oh, okay. And the hangman in the reverse showed up. The wait is over. So you're looking outside of yourself for an answer right now. There is something that you absolutely need certainty about. It's like you're saying, if I could only know that next year I'll be happy. I'll be with this person. I'll have this job. I'll have this amount of money. And the hangman in the reverse says, it's, it's right here. Everything you need is infinitely at your disposal. It's within you. You have the answers. You don't need a healer. You don't need a teacher right now. You are all of those things. So now it's the time to embrace the magic, the power. You have the key. You are the key. For some reason, I'm thinking about Frozen, Madonna's song, which probably everyone knows that song. If you don't, you have to listen to this song one time for sure. Um, one of my favorite songs, definitely. And she says, you are the key. You are the key, and it echoes in my mind. You are the key. It's you, Aries. You don't have to wait for someone to tell you, go, green light, come on. 
You don't have to wait for this person to say, I love you, yes, I want you, you're the best, you're this and that. You are the one in control right now. And it seems like the moment you realize that, the moment you choose to go your own way, everything that you want will follow you. But it's going to seem, it's going to feel like a solitary path. But on this solitary path, on the path of the high priestess, with which the hangman is very connected to also, there's something showing up. And I think it is bigger than just love or a love offer. This is about loving your life, truly. Loving where you are, loving where you're going, loving what you see in the mirror. Again, when I see the Ace of Cups, the cup overflowing, it cannot just be an offer of love. It cannot just be someone who's saying, I love you again. It's bigger than that. It's all areas of your life making sense finally. And helping you trust the next step. Let's pick one last oracle card from my oracle deck. And let's see. Aries. Is there an important message Aries need to hear to wrap up this reading and help them trust what's coming up for them? We have sacred woods. An old version of you has dissolved. A new one is ready to emerge. This is it. Unearth, rewild, and bloom. This is a time of flourishing for you. The wait is over. Again, I want to repeat that because I think it's very important. An old version of you has dissolved. A new one is ready to emerge. And I said that earlier, the word emerge or rising up. There's something about that. You're going to feel Aries like you're waking up from a very, very long nap. Like you're waking up from being stuck in the same place because the wheel of fortune is amazing but it's the card that comes after the hermit card so you've been in hermit mode for a long time doing the inner work doing the reflection learning about yourself making mistakes learning from those mistakes again now you're putting into action the things that you learn so everything that you do is more empowered it's more in tuned with who you are and your values i really feel like this eclipse season and this season of scorpio is is really good for you and scorpio is ruled by the same planet you know depending on your beliefs and how you work with astrology but scorpio season is a very important time for you and we just entered it you already shed the skin you already transformed, in my opinion. You already took off the mask of the ego of illusion. And now you're ready to emerge from a long time in hermit mode. So whoever connects with this reading, let me know. Because honestly, I'm kind of scratching my head here. But there's so much beauty coming up for you. And I feel like you're getting into a much more comfortable space where you don't need someone or something so much. You might want to spend time with someone. You might want to be in a relationship or want to do new things, but you don't need those things. There's some type of completion, especially around your heart space. It feels like, again, the cup is overflowing and it really means something for someone out there. So let me know in the comments. Again, it's a pleasure for me to read um, for you guys all the time. And I hope that it was worth the wait. And I hope that this message finds you well. And I promise I won't make you wait so long for your bonus reading. Uh, I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Have a beautiful Scorpio season and enjoy this life-changing transformation by Aries.